Hello everyone, we will continue the topic field symbols and in the previous videos we are covering internal table operations through field symbols rather than work area. So as a part of that we covered loop operation, read table operation, modify and yes in case of specially modify every project will ask you to go for field symbols rather than work area. Now we will go for append. We will learn append internal table operation through field symbols. In the previous videos, we studied through work area. Now we will simply simply replace work area by field symbol in case of append internal table operation also. Suppose if I will go for a program in which we have the append using the work area. We all know append always insert the records to the internal table at the last append always insert the records at the last of the internal table. You can go for append operation if you do not have the knowledge for the same. In a BAP programming playlist, I explained append internal table operation. You can go for that particular video. Now we have same to same thing. We have a structure which has two columns. We have the internal table. We have the work area. Now, one by one, we are passing the data to work area. Now, using append statement, we are inserting the record to internal table. It means order number one and C will go to internal table. And yes, as a part of best programming practices, we are always, always clearing the work area. If you want more clarity, yes, you can study append internal table operation in a BAP programming playlist. So we inserted first record to internal table using the work area. Then we inserted second record to internal table, then third record, fourth record, fifth record and we are displaying. You can create a same to same type of program. You can refer the video of append internal table operation or you can develop by yourself also in which you have a structure of two or three columns. You can declare internal table and work areas. You can pass that data to work area one by one. And yes, you can up append it to or you can insert to internal table using append statement and you can display. Now, in this case, we are passing that data to work area. It means work area is a separate copy and then we are passing it to internal table and yes, it means work area will also occupy memory, the internal table will also occupy memory. Now rather than work area, now we will learn append internal table operation through field symbols. So what I will do, I will simply, simply, firstly, declare a field symbol. So I will write field symbols. You all know field symbol is the keyword. Suppose my name of the field symbol is fs underscore data. And I will write type ldy underscore data. Yes, it is a typed field symbol, which is of type structure type. And we all know structure type is a complex data type. 
so it is your typed field symbol now rather than using work area now we will go for same to same requirement using field symbol so how i will write the syntax i will write append initial line 2 what is the name of internal table lt underscore data and i am writing assigning name of the field symbol i will explain it fully because especially freshers whenever they will see the syntax they will get confused and they will say okay we will prefer work area only we will not go for field symbol but once you learn the field symbol you will like do the code you will automatically like doing the code using field symbol because there are so much flexibility in case of field symbols in the previous video we studied you can assign a part of data object just now in modify internal table operation nothing has to be done from your end if you are using field symbol plus you are saving the memory also in future we will do the dynamic programming through field symbol so they are very very flexible and they will give the good performance also now what is the meaning of this line we are inserting a blank line initial you all know initial means zero initial means blank we are inserting a blank line to first inter blank line to the internal table and yes we are assigning it to field symbol also it means blank line in the internal table we are inserting a black blank line to internal table and we are assigning to field symbol also after that what we will do we will simply simply as pass the values to the field symbol and yes field symbol is pointing to internal table that blank line so if i will do something to the field symbol it will automatically reflect at first row yes because field symbols are the placeholders if you are assigning you are assigning the blank line of this internal table to this particular field symbol now after that whatever you will do to this field symbol it will automatically reflect at the blank line so just i will write the code and whenever i will show you in the debugging mode guaranteed you will understand what is why how we are using append using field symbols now i will write if field symbol is assigned from the starting of the video itself we are going for this practice if field symbol is assigned now i will simply simply pass fs underscore data but is first where first column payment mode i will go for same to same value one sorry firstly first is order number work area field symbol hyphen order number one now i will simply go for payment mode is equal to c for every if there is a and if now just see how this logic will work Firstly, we are inserting a blank line to internal table and we are assigning to field symbol. It means field symbol is pointing to the blank record of internal table. Now I am passing order number one to this field symbol. It means it will automatically reflect into internal table at blank line. So order number one. 
payment mode c so have you seen first record inserted to internal table now in case of append using field symbol suppose simple example if you want to understand in case of append internal table operation after every append we are clearing the work area so here also we will firstly we check the assignment of the field symbol then we will unassign the field symbol also so how we will go for the syntax unassign fs underscore data because up to this level our first record inserted to internal table our target is fulfilled then we need to unassign the field symbol so that next time we will assign to the next record of the internal table if you want to understand by comparing it to work area yes after every append you are clearing the work area now here also after every assignment we are unassigning the field symbol now i will simply simply copy this particular syntax now i will go for second record now for the second record this one and d one and d now again we are inserting a blank record to internal table append always always insert at the last so first record already inserted then the blank line will be on second index yes we are assigning to field symbol field symbol we are passing one and d so it will automatically reflect into internal table at second position second index itself and we are unassigning the field symbol similarly we have third record third record suppose we will go for 2 and c okay then i will go for fourth record now blank line will insert at index 3 because append always insert at the last of internal table and using field symbol we are going for appending the third record to internal table then fourth record and then we have fifth record so for the fifth record suppose i will take three and c so in this internal table we will get all the five records now can we display all the five records yes while displaying also i will simply use the field symbol loop at internal table assigning what is the name of your field symbol fs underscore data now for every loop there is a end now i will write if field symbol is assigned we will simply simply display through write statement for every if there is a and if now we will use the write statement write field symbol sorry hyphen order number field symbol hyphen payment mode i will check the syntax and i will activate so what is the summary of this particular video firstly you can create a simple simple program in which you are using append in which you are going for append through work area it's totally your wish if you do not want to create also it's okay if you are comfortable with append statement but if you want to learn how append how we can do append through work area yes you need to refer the abap programming playlist 
and in that we have a internal table operation append. You can simply insert few records to the internal table using append statement and at that time we used work area. And yes, after every append, make a practice that you will clear the work area. But now we are replacing work area with field symbols in the internal table operation. So how we can use append, how you can insert the records to internal table using append, but yes, you will use field symbols. So firstly, I declared a field symbol. It is a typed field symbol. And what is the type of that field symbol? It is a structure type. So firstly, what we did, we inserted a blank line to internal table and we assigned to the field symbol. It means blank line assigned to field symbol. This field symbol is pointing to the blank line of the internal table. Now you are changing the field symbol. You are assigning the values to field symbol. So it will automatically reflect into data object. What is our data object? Internal table. Now same way, second record, third record, fourth record, and fifth record. Now, once you insert the record to internal table, we are assign unassigning the field symbol so that we can assign for second record, third record, fourth record, and fifth record. And finally, we displayed the data using the loop statement and we have written the write statement. And at that time also, we used field symbol. In the next video, I will show you in the debugging mode one by one how blank line is going to internal table, how field symbol is inserting the record to that to at that particular position. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.